Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TK already is here with my Zom 100 uh, episode 3 review. So, if you don't know, welcome to the channel. I am a reader before a watcher. So, very much, I watched, I read the mangas before the anime was announced, before live action was announced. I don't know why the live action is coming out so fast. It's coming out like next week. But, uh, so, I've been. Keeping track, seeing if it's taken from the manga or being like super accurate. So far, it's really accurate with the manga. Um, I don't know if that be. I don't remember that beginning part happening, but it's pretty much still accurate with what I remember. I had to go check the book to see for sure, but uh, pretty much everything is accurate with what I have been seeing. This episode, uh, Akira pretty much is going to see his friend, Kencho. He ends up thinking about him uh, when he realizes that the internet was back working. He's scrolling through his contact list and he sees his name. He thought about his days with him at college. Uh, they both was on the rugby team and Kencho always make him laugh. So he decided to give him a, a call and see what he answer. And he does pick up. We did get to see a little bit of Kenjo's perspective. He's in the hotel room with this girl uh, he has a tied up to this bondage thingy, and he's pretty much just been drinking water the past three days. He's been there, and uh, Kira is pretty much a hope of light for him because he's got someone that was willing to help him and uh, pretty much let him uh, do what he really wants to do in life or. For the time being. Well, no, I'm safe for life. So, uh, after that, uh, Kira's telling him, I'm, gonna call, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go over there and meet you. Give me your address. He's trying to warn him. Like, you know, zombies everywhere. He's like, don't worry, I'm going to be fine. So, he goes over there, creates a distraction by having this car horn beeping, attracting all the zombies in the area. Uh, he, he goes into the place. He meets with uh, Kenjo. Uh, Akira pretty much just kind of apologizes to Kenjo because he was mad at him at one point because he felt like uh, Kenjo was bragging and showing off how good his job in his, in his life. And he actually was doing that. He admits to that later on in the episode. But Akira makes a loud noise because he's, he's shouting and stuff. So they run to the rooftop and they pretty much barricade the door in, and the only way for them to escape is to jump over to the next building. Akira does it, no problem, no fear. Kenjo, he's afraid. He doesn't think he can make it. But before, he was going to accept this fate as just staying up there in the building. He decided to tell Akira, I was just bragging about my job and my life. I really didn't like my job. I was tricking people into contracts, things of that nature. And uh, Akira pretty much is uh, kind of motivates him a little bit. And this is when Kenjo, he, he, he dies into his goofy side because he, he wants to be a comedic. Like I said, they show flashbacks of him kind of uh, humor and Akira having him laughing his ass off, all this thing of nature. And for what I know personally, because I got all the mangas that's currently out, he does a lot of comedic things, and you saw a little bit of it in this episode. So Kenjo, when he decides to, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump, I'm going to live, I want to do this comic thing for the rest of my life. He takes off all his clothes, he's running, jumps off, Barely makes it. He has to get a little assist from Akira to get up on the building. But you're going to be seeing Kenjo getting naked a lot. That's his little comedy thing he likes to do. Try to get some laughs. And he just do it randomly in crazy situations. You'll see later on as the series progress. Because like I said, I, I read the mangas. Uh, there's like another manga coming out next month. I got to get that one. But uh, I read all, all most of the mangas. And... Uh, He's, he does very comedic things while being naked. That's kind of his thing to do, like I said. But um, overall, episode episode's good. Um, I like the voices so far. 
Um, I'm hoping my girl Beatrix. We're probably gonna see her. Maybe we might see her the episode after this episode that's coming. At the, like at the episode four, we probably gonna see her on episode five. I think. Hope her voice is uh, sounding how I how I imagine it would sound. Cause when I read manga, I do give the characters their voices. Uh, so far, the voices is fine. I don't have any problems with the current cast. Uh, episode is nice and solid. Um, one thing I want to mention: the soundtrack. I'm liking the soundtrack. Uh, the one soundtrack they they they've been playing the soundtrack for a while. Uh, but I'll point you at the moment. So the moment when Kenjo decided to jump, I really like that that soundtrack right there. It gets you into the feels. It's nice. It's a nice nice soundtrack right there. I, I really enjoy that. But anyways, good episode Zone One Hundred. Bucket list of the dead. It's very anime of the season. I already knew it's going to be the favorite because, like I said, been reading the mangas. That's my favorite manga. So, yeah, I actually got another manga. I highly doubt they're going to make a, an anime for it. We'll see. I know it's one I'm reading that might get an anime from it, an anime made from it later on. Who knows? I might do a, a video talking about my mangas I got and put y'all on to some stuff. But anyways, good episode of Zone 100. Fuck this is a dead episode 3. If you haven't, go check the episode out. If you have, which I'm expecting you have, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. But anyways, I'm TK. TKRDS. Until next time, talk to you guys later. Peace.